So, now we have um, explained uh, how to get the cumulative distribution function of a random variable through the concept of a distribution function. That is what we explained the distribution function first that is a real valued function satisfying the four conditions. Then we are connecting through the probability x is less than or equal to x therefore, it is going to be the CDF of the random variable. First, we will go for the very easy example in which how to get the cumulative distribution function for the random variable. So, for that we will take a very easy example uh, start from the scratch. Start from the scratch means uh, we start with the random experiment. So, the random experiment is denoted uh, as a <coughs> tossing a uh, yes the random experiment is nothing but a tossing of a tossing of a two unbiased coin the random experiment is nothing but a tossing of two unbiased coins either you can use a unbiased coins or a fair coin that means a, there is a equal probability of a getting a tail or head that is the meaning of a unbiased coin or a fair coin. So, the random experiment is the tossing of two unbiased coins. Therefore, uh, you will get a collection of all possible outcomes is going to be I use the notation capital H for uh, getting head capital uh, T for uh, tail. So, H H means uh, both uh, we got head and head, head and tail, tail head or tail tail. When you tossing a two unbiased coin, therefore, you will get uh, either uh, head head or head tail or tail head or tail tail. Therefore, these are all the four possibilities. We have taken uh, the largest sigma field uh, f uh, for the consideration for this problem that is empty set, then uh, singleton element, any two elements, oh I have written wrongly that is uh, h h h tail <coughs> any two elements then uh, any three elements then uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so <coughs> the largest sigma field consisting of uh, 16 elements so instead of writing other elements i'm just putting a dot 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 uh, you can fill up uh, all the other elements so that uh, this is going to be the largest sigma field. So, for this problem the f is uh, taken as a largest sigma field which has a number of elements is uh, 2 power 4 that is 16 elements. So, one can fill it up all the elements. Now, we are going to define the random variable that is nothing but the real valued function. where uh, x denotes number of uh, heads 
obtained. X is a real valued function which denotes a number of heads obtained when you toss a two unbiased coins. So, x of w the possible values are going to be since it is a number of heads therefore, there is a possibility no heads or there is a possibility you may land up with only one head or two heads therefore, the possible values are 0, 1 or 2. You can list out what are all the w's will give 0 as well as 1 and 2. So, for 0 it is a both are going to be tail then it is going to be the both tail will give x of w is equal to 0. When w is equal to h tail or w is equal to tail head, you are going to get h of w is equal to 0. When w becomes a both head you are going to get the value 2. So, the possible values of the random variable x are 0, 1 and 2. So, this is a real valued function. One can verify whether this real valued function is going to be a random variable or not. So, if you go for finding x inverse of minus infinity to x, Since the possible values are 0, 1 and 2, therefore, when x is less than 0, you do not have any possible outcomes, therefore, it is a empty set. When x lies between 0 to 1, when x takes a value from 0 to 1 excluding 1, the x inverse of minus infinity to x becomes a tail tail. When x takes a value from 1 to 2 excluding 2, it is going to be head tail, tail head, tail tail. When x lies between 2 to infinity, all possible outcomes will be included. Therefore, this is going to be the omega. Now, we have to verify whether these four elements is belonging to f or not. Since we have taken f as the largest sigma field. Therefore, empty set tail tail, head tail tail, head tail tail and the omega all are belonging to f. Since uh, for all x, x inverse of minus infinity to x belonging to f, uh, x is a random variable. x is a random variable because it satisfies the condition. Now, we will go for finding the cumulative distribution function of the random variable x. That is defined as capital F of x that is p of x is less than or equal to x. For all possible values of x, f of x is defined, p of x is less than or equal to x. Since uh, <coughs> the possible values of x is going to be 0, 1 and 2, therefore, we can define the f of x when it is before 0, between 0 to 1, 1 to 2, then 2 to infinity. So, based on the problem, you can always uh, split the ranges. So, since uh, here the x is the number of hits obtained and the possible values of heads are going to be 0, 1 and 2. Therefore, we are going to define f of x is a value 
when uh, x is less than 0, then uh, 0 to 1, then uh, 1 to 2, then 2 to infinity. So, this is a minus infinity to 0. So, what is the value? When x lies between minus infinity to 0, excluding 0. When x is lies between 0 to 1, then x lies between 1 to 2, then 2 to infinity. When x lies between minus infinity to 0, the p of x less than or equal to x is nothing but a collection of possible outcomes which is going to give the value from minus infinity to till x where x is lies between 0 to infinity. Since the possible values of x, I can just draw one smaller diagram also. Omega consists of a head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail and this is mapped with 0, 1, 2 under the operation x. <coughs> when p of x is less than or equal to x when x is lies between minus infinity to 0, it is nothing, no possible outcomes. Therefore, p of empty set, so the p of empty set is going to be 0. When x lies between 0 to 1, since the tail tail is mapped with 0, collection of possible outcomes, this is nothing but w such that x of w is less than or equal to x. Here it is a p of the w is a here it is a tail tail. And since it is a fair coin or unbiased coin, it is equal probable of getting tail as well as head and the probability is 1. Therefore, it is 1 by 2 probability of heading head, 1 by 2 probability of heading tail and uh, probability of uh, getting head, tail in both the tosses is going to be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Therefore, it is going to be 1 by 4. The probability of obtaining a head in a one toss is 1 by 2 and the probability of getting a, another toss is 1 by 2. Therefore, it is a probability of a 1 by 4 getting a tail tail. When x is lies between 1 to 2, that is nothing but a collection of possible outcomes gives the values x of w is less than or equal to x. Here, it is going to be p of a tail tail plus probability of a head tail plus probability of a tail head. So, all this possibility gives the value of a probability of x is less than or equal to x when x is lies between 1 to 2. So, we know that the probability of tail tail is 1 by 4 and head tail is another 1 by 4, tail head is another 1 by 4, therefore, the probability is going to be 3 by 4. When x lies between 2 to infinity, this is going to be probability of tail tail plus probability of uh, head tail plus probability of uh, tail head plus probability of head head because that gives a value 2. So, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, therefore, this is going to be 1. So, the CDF is 0 between minus infinity to 0, the CDF value is 1 by 4 between 0 to 1 and 3 by 4 between the interval 1 to 2 and 1 between the interval 2 to infinity. We can draw the diagram for this nicely. When x takes a value minus infinity to 0, it is 0. 
0 there is a jump of a height 1 by 4 I am not scaling the graph at the point uh, 1 it has a next jump of a height uh, 3 by 4. So, suppose this is 1 by 4, another 1 by 4, another 1 by 4. So, this much height at the point 2. So, this value is basically 3 by 4. At the point 2, it has a next jump. So, that jump value is 1. That means, uh, it is a right continuous function because uh, the left limit at the value at 0 that is 0, value at the 0 is 1 by 4, right limit at the point 0 is 1 by 4. Therefore, it is a right continuous at the point 0. Similarly, the value of CDF at the left limit of 1 that is 1 by 4, the value at the point 1 that is 3 by 4 and the right limit at the point 1 that is again 3 by 4 therefore, it is a right continuous at the point 1 also. Similarly, the function value at the point 2 that is a right continuous. Therefore, this is an example in which the CDF is satisfying all the four conditions of the distribution function starting from values lies between 0 to 1, monotonically increasing and uh, left limit is 0, right limit is 1. And the fourth condition here it is a right continuous function. Therefore, this function capital F uh, that is the first it is a distribution function the way we define the distribution function through p of x is less than or equal to x therefore this is a cdf is the cdf of the random variable capital X. It satisfies all the four conditions including it is a right continuous function. Therefore, this distribution function is the cumulative distribution function of the random variable X. Similarly, we can create examples for CDF which is a continuous function. Similarly, one can give the example for uh, CDF uh, which is uh, continuous uh, in uh, some interval, it has uh, jumps in uh, some other interval, we can create. So, the one example which I have created which has only jumps, we can create an example of uh, no jumps we can create example of jumps as well as increasing in some interval. So, this is the easiest example. So, in the next class we will classify the random variables based on the CDF of the random variable.